can be done. But it's, unavo it's avoidable. It's an avoidable part of MMA that I think should really be addressed. And I think it's also cheating. I think it's, it's sanctioned cheating. You know, you're not 180. You're not. You're pretending. You're pretending you're fighting at 185 pounds. You're fighting at 220. That's what you are. You're 220. You just dry yourself out to 185 for the briefest amount of time possible. You hop on the scale early, and then they scientifically rehydrate you up to a healthy level. To, to dehydrate yourself to the point of literally on death's door, 24 hours before a fucking cage fight is crazy. You wouldn't go out and party 24 hours before a cage fight. You wouldn't do any of the things that could deplete your body the same way dehydration does. But yet we allow it. And not only do we allow it, we expect it. It's dumb. It's dumb and it's avoidable. And it's one of the biggest dangers in the sport. There's a company called One FC that apparently have some sort of hydration um, policy, and they 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 change like people that were competing at lower weight classes are now competing at higher weight classes. And they move stuff around, but they've addressed it, and they've addressed it in a way that seems to work for their organization. And I'm sure there's some fuckery involved and some shenanigans involved, but way less than we have in the UFC. We'd like to see them be be preemptive instead of yes reactive. Yes proactive instead of reactive it happened in our league you know forever my rookie year you know day one through day 14 is double days you know two practices a day yeah and how did that change somebody died and then it was two and one and two and one and two and one and then there were some college kids that died and then they went oh you can't ever do double days in a row anymore and no, are they dying from out. heat stroke are they dying from exhaustion both yeah yeah. And there was, you know, there was some maybe genetic issues going on, but at at the root there was not the right nutrition and hydration policies or education involved to allow these guys to recover. And and what was going on only got changed when there was a tragedy. Do you think that's because they are trying to instill mental toughness and just condition them to just some extreme level by doing this and that this was like this old school 100%. thought? Yeah. yeah, it was, you know, it was, and some coaches have still said it today, you know, how do you build callus if you don't, you know, put them through hell? You right. know? And it's like, work smarter, not longer. Yeah. You know, efficiency over time well i have a thought on that too is that i mean i think you can make people mentally tougher but i think at the elite levels of competition everyone's mentally tough yeah and that's not the issue and i've seen people fight over trained you know i saw tim kennedy went through two camps in a row because one fight got canceled and they went right into another camp and then he went out fighting kelvin gaslam and he was gassed out like almost immediately which that fucking guy has a gas tank as big as the ocean he's never out of gas it's like one of his biggest strengths is his fucking relentless pace but his body was just failing him because yeah. it had never gotten the adequate rest and, and recovery. Well, I mean, I, I think for a lot of the older mindset, older coaches, that that's not part of it. Yeah. You know, rest, recovery, hydration, proper eating habits. Yeah. How that affects performance. It never came into effect. You know, it's like, no, we're going to grind you and see what your limit is. Yeah. Yeah. And the ones that can make it through they're gonna make the team the, the ones that can't get fucking out of here yeah but that's just thankfully that's not the way we do it anymore but i don't think it ever to, has to be they've had to change a lot of things in the nfl right i mean uh concussions yeah now people realize what an issue that is i mean when you first started playing football how much talk was there about cte and none. concussion none. none yeah you know you get dinged in the head you see stars and get back out there yeah 